Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to create Spring Boot Maven project using Eclipse. So in market, there are lots of IDs like NetBeans, IntelliJ, Eclipse. So today we are using Eclipse. We are creating a Spring Boot Maven project. So let's see. So open Eclipse ID. Then click on file new then click on other then scroll down and here you can see here maven so click on maven and then click on maven project click on next now click here use your default workspace location if you want to change your workspace location click on browse and select your workplace location then click on next now here you can see here lots of group ids and artifact ids which have maven provided so we are going to build a web app application so here we are type web app so click here and select then click on next so this is ask you for a group ID and artifact ID so type here group ID is com dot app you can type anything but I am typing here com dot app and artifact ID is I am typing Spring Boot Maven Project. Spring Boot Maven Project. So click on Finish. So you have created your Maven project with Spring Boot. So it's just a only Maven project, not a Spring Boot project. So to make it a Spring Boot project, you have to add some dependencies. So here you have an error. We have an error in our project. So let's check it out. Which errors we have? So within index.csp. So click here and then okay now error is the superclass java x dot servlet dot http dot http servlet was not found on the java build path so for this you have to add some dependencies related to the servlet in your pom.xml file so i have some dependencies already written in my text file to save time i am going to copy that So open your pom.xml file. So here you have lots of GUI tabs of your pom.xml files. So you can change your what packaging type, your versions. You can control your versions from here. The group ID which I have typed, it shows here your architect artifact IDs also showing here. Then dependencies, which dependency you have added in your pom.xml file the list is going to show here so by default we have one dependencies called j unit so dependency hierarchy effective pom so there's a lots of tabs here you can see in eclipse so eclipse provides a lots of gui's so i'm going to edit pom.xml so after url i'm going to add this so this is our starter parent and version is 1.5.10 the 1.5.10 is our spring boot version so i'm going to add some more dependencies
control copy so within this dependencies tag we are going to add our dependencies here so here spring boot starter data jpa whenever you add this starter data jpa dependency in your xml file form.xml file then make sure you have also added application.properties file in your resources folder so create application.properties file click on resources right click on resources then new then click on file if you not able to see this file tab here then don't worry click on others then in type filter you are going to search for a file in general select file click on next so here you have to write application dot properties so click on finish so we are creating here application dot properties file so after so now we can save this pom.xml file so you can see a building workspace so it will automatically get downloaded the man files so for downloading the dependencies right click here scroll down click on maven then click on update project so then select your projects and click on ok so what it did so whenever you click on update maven project it will update your dependencies and download that dependencies to into your machine which you are mentioned into your pom.xml so you can see here your error, our error has gone if you want to add some dependency or remove some dependency from your projects after removing or adding dependency into the pom.xml you have to make sure you have to upgrade maven project so now we are going to add some application.properties file property file so i have already some properties so just we are going to copy these properties so this is my basic setup you can see here spring.datasource.url so what it makes so this is my it will create my sql databases here localhost is my local machine and employee is my database name so what it next create database if not exist true that means which means if you in your database you don't have employee name database created so this query will automatically create employee database in your database so spring dot data source dot username and password you have to mention here the spring boot will take care of your database connection normally in jdbc we have to write some database connections creating some connections and closing that connection so in spring boot you don't need to create a connections and closing that connection spring boot spring boot will take care of that here spring jpa dot show sql true we here there is two property true and false whenever you make it true that your sql queries will print into the consoles if you make it as false then your sql queries will not going to print in your console here your driver com.mysql.jdbc driver here dialect hibernate dialect i am using hibernate dot dialect dot mysql dialect and here ddl dot 
ddl auto properties i am using update here update property i'm going to save so for sql i'm going here already added mysql connector java so this dependency will help us to connecting the mysql database with our java application so for adding our java classes into the our projects we have to right click our project then go to the properties file then click on java build path here two checks boxes we have to check then click on apply apply and close after that you can see here our java packages are created so the needed dependency for spring boot we have already added here you can see a starter data gps starter web and spring boot starter test so i am going to create here our basic spring boot java application i'm going to create one class named spring boot application so i'm giving here my package name is com dot app dot spring boot maven project so click on finish here i'm going to add some annotations at the red spring boot application going to create here a main method public static white main spring application dot run So what is resource? The resource means your Spring Boot application file name. So control V dot class. US semicolon. Okay, so control shift S. We are saving all files. Then once again, we are going to here and update our Maven project. So you can see here updating our Maven projects, loading pom.xml. So our Maven project is updated. So here run as Maven clean. So you can see here when on console, here is the message build success means our Maven project have successfully built. So click on run ads, run on server. Here we are going to select our Apache Tomcat. So I am using Tomcat version 8.0. Click on next. So here click on browse and browse your where you have installed your tomcat 
to browse i have my tomcat on my home select this and click on ok so this is the my tomcat path which i have installed so click on next now click on finish you can see a hello world our application has been run successfully here so now i'm going to add i'm going to extend spring boot servlet initializer extends spring boot servlet initializer so i'm going to overwrite configure method of spring boot servlet initializer Builder. Builder. Spin application builder. So within this return application builder dot sources within sources we have to mention our class name spring application start class the semicolon then this is the our overridden method so get annotation overwrite so save it and run our project run on server so initially i have selected my tomcat server so you have to not every time to select here So click on next finish yeah you can see here our spring application is going well spring boot application hello what so which means our application will application is running successfully thank you guys for know if you want to know how to rest api works and how to create a rest api using spring boot hibernate jpa so i'll mention the link into the description below Let's click on and see that video. Thank you.